You're all about it. Okay, here it is. Get and it definitely get around water. Okay. Oh! Wait, okay. There it is. Oh. Bam! Nice! Got him! Oh, he's got such a headache. Oh, no. Oh, oh no! Oh, What you do? Oh, my God! That poor guy! We just blew him up! Oh, beautiful rainbow! Oh, that makes it all better. Hello, Internet. Welcome to Game. Hey guys, and welcome to GT Live Monday edition! It's a brand new week, and a brand new GT Live, and the same old people on the couch. And a brand new you. Oh, that maybe. Also, best part of the other great part of the day, we are currently at 9 million subscribers! Woo! We, yeah, just, we should flip some bottles just take or a look, something. Just take a look down there. You've got Coke cans right there. Oh. Can I can oh, I man. uh can I spray the the curtain over here a little bit more? Can we permanently? Oh save boy, it? that sounds awesome. I mean at this point, yeah. What better way to celebrate than with one of the guys who made this channel great? Mario. Jumpman. Mario. That's the one. We're gonna... <laughs> Today we continue the quest <laughs> to beat Super Mario Odyssey that I'm sure everyone has seen the ending of yeah. five times over. You guys on have YouTube. seen it, but hey. It's a lot of fun to hang out together. When last we left things off, uh, we had beaten up the Shiver Kingdom, Freeze Kingdom, Ice Cat, whatever Kingdom. Yep. Chili Kingdom. Uh, the Penguin Paradise that was this level. We assumed the role of one of the large snowball people. We raced. It was delightful. Yep. We bumbled our way through. It was good. We did indeed. And so now. The Odyssey is powered up. We are ready to go. Go right figure. The, for, for yet another time, the Odyssey is powered up. So at this point, I think we go to the Seaside Kingdom, which was yeah. the choice that they offered us last time. You, you can go to the Cold Kingdom or the Hot Kingdom. So now we can go here to the Seaside go. Kingdom. Tropical Paradise, here we come. It's going to be amazing. I feel like we got to be getting close to the end. Right? Because our game is approaching. Our, right? well, our sphere is also getting pretty full. If you notice, right? we only we have, have two that segments, little chunk it looks on like. the back. It seems like we're missing two segments, mm -hmm. one of which will be seaside. Right? Which would lead me to believe. We one. all live in a yellow hat balloon. It's a red hat. It's a red hat. Right? I was going to say, but it's not even yellow. Also, it still bothers me, and I don't know if as you collect moons, if the hat will actually become fully red. That would be nice, because it's still kind of like. Got like it's got some chips to it. It's well dingy. loved. Come on, it's it's just supposed to look uh it's supposed to look a little steampunked. It it has to be a little uh it has to be a little weathered, you know? Yep. So we're still sir so they're serving the emoji frost frosted cake at the wedding, are they? Not if we serve them a defeat first. Oh, oh. Good one. Good one, Cappy. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, you know. No, no, no. ground pound jump. Are I don't need to know how to do a ground pound jump. Really, like this is the one big flaw of this game. Let's so read far. up on the seaside kingdom. There's a carbonated sea that's supposed supposed to be quite nice, and it says here to be sure we visit the four giant fountains. Okay, that's that's good to know. Carbonated ocean. That's Ooh, cool. That's neat. It's like a that's it's fun, like an ocean theory. of diet coke. Here's a fun fact for you. It's, uh, yes, except probably less sticky and, and artificially flavored. Mm. Um, here's a fun fact for you. When we, Steph and I like to travel, right? We traveled to Israel, and we actually went to the Dead Sea. Yes. Which is called that because it's got so much salt in it that not a whole lot can live in it. Yeah. It's just so salty. And... It is, it is very un unhappy about something that recently went wrong in its life. It is extremely salty. So I'm, I'm like, where is she going with this? So so the Dead Sea is super salty, uh, and so there's not a whole lot that can live in it because of the high amounts of salt, right? And like you when you get angry about video games. Thank you for continuing to talk about me being salty. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, so anyway, the reason I bring it up, though, it's so salty, though, that you can just, like, the water almost, like, rejects you. Like, you, it is hard for you to go under the water the, the, because you are so buoyant. Yeah, you are less dense than the water, which means you float on it, and it's really hard to sink in the Dead Sea. And the thing that people do is 
they'll like they'll sit in the Dead Sea and you can stick your feet up and you can stick your hands up and you don't have to paddle or anything to stay up, you just float at the top. It's really cool. I tried to get the power moon in there, but alas, I am not fleet of foot and could not outrun the danger. That Mario can. I like that all these snails are French with their berets. You cannot see the magic of this place without all the four fountains. Oh my gosh, they are little. They're they're little escargots. Yeah, they're little escargots. Oh man, should we warn them? Is that what we're gonna eat them? That France is like one of the only places in the world that it's regularly time. eats snails. We should be like, hey guys, this is a bad idea for right. you. Right. Also, I don't know. Escargot. You're okay. You're, you're all right. Yeah. This, this feels like a... Um, right, this is really not that hard. They said Even I for a slow-moving snail, this is okay. Stephanie, I need to be fleet of foot to get up here. All Don't right. you see how difficult this well, is? Well, fleet your feet, man. Come on. Oh, there's one of those Goombas that if I... So I gotta form a Goomba staff in order to seduce her. <laughs> in order to lead her on and give her false hope that she'll find her love. Man, that's oh, such a Oh, they got Ooh. me. You were not fleet enough. Apparently not, actually. Your feet were not fleet. I was not fleet enough to actually move the camera. There we go. If you're fleet and cool, do people say that you're on fleet? Wow. That's that's such a thing from, I don't know how many years ago. One? Two years ago? Was it one year? Fleet? Was fleet a year ago? On fleet? I think people were using that, maybe ironically, up to last year. Boom. Moon. Now it's retro. Sealed up the king. Got it. Nice. Nailed him. Back on the moon train. That was awesome. I'm gonna fly through this. One. I'm gonna beat the game right now. This is it. Sure. I'm gonna beat it. Um, but yeah, so the Dead Sea, it is wild. Ooh. Oh, look at him. Wow. Owie wee. Owie wee. Ow. Yeah. Owie wee. Owie wee. Owie -wee. Try all you want. Oh, maybe it's all oh, wee wee. Oh, wee wee. Try all you want. I will never surrender the delicious sparkle water. He reminds me of Cogsworth from Oh, and I am now giving myself Less so now. Molten lava hey. Oh, he's mad now. Three fountains left. Let's hop to it. Okay. Okay. Great. Uh, anything else around here? There's a web that they'll probably have to get up at some point. Yep. There's probably something on top of there. What else we got? Do here, let's get these, this Goomba one. Yeah. That, that Stack them up! Easy. Let's get stacking! So Dead Sea, very cool. It's one of the weirdest sensations. They are, You also have to, like, completely, uh, like, shower off after you're done because of all the salt, your body is actually really... It's, like, coated. Yeah, it feels really slimy and sticky when yeah. you get out. Which, it is Which doesn't so make a whole lot weird. of sense, honestly. Like, you would think, hey, I'm coated with salt. You would think that that would mean, like, you feel really grainy. Yeah, or, but it's not. or that you're like, ooh, my skin is so, like, awesome and exfoliated now. Nah. There you go. Is she seduced? Oh, man. Oh, she, she is, is properly seduced. She's so excited. She just ejected her moon. Popped out a moon. Okay, there we go. Popping moons! Popping bottles weird. and popping moons! Isn't it weird? And then uh, she's so excited she just leaves. Like, she doesn't even continue the relationship with you. Well, she's just you know, so enthusiastic. She's not really interested in the long term thing. Whoa! She, just really, she wants this to kind of be more of a friends with benefits sort of situation. I understand. So, anyway, this this game is, is the Dead Sea. This, that is what we've determined, right? Sweet. Ooh, there's something more. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I like this idea of a carbonated ocean. Mm. Like Marticia uh, Arino de Aria says, nice French accent. Oh, thank you. Where Indigo Dragon 77 says, terrible French Someone accent. Someone once told me the world is going to Well, here we go. Okay. Mario told you that. Yep. And, and there it is. Oh, man. He's good. Ooh, you and Snail Pal. The treasure hidden in this room is so cunningly hidden. Your eyes will be of no use. Oh, man. You must feel the ground beneath you with the exquisite care. Okay. Ooh, oh man. I'm feeling. Feeling. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. Oh. I'm feeling it. Feeling that high definition rumble. Ooh. It's getting colder. Uh, you know what I mean? Boaz in the chat says, I'm literally reading The Odyssey in class right now. Can I get a clap and a half? PS Theory idea parallels between this game and The Odyssey. Ooh. I wonder if you could track uh, oh, yeah, yeah. the the path of Odysseus. As as you've read, the, you're a classics major. What yeah, do you think? but I don't remember it that closely. I mean, 
You, you the sirens that summon you to the the rocks, right? He that's, goes that's to that's the Odyssey. yeah. I mean, he goes to like different areas. He goes to different like lands, faces different people and stuff. I don't think he runs into too many wedding rings, but maybe you could take that a little metaphorical. <laughs> no, is he not stopping a giant turtle dragon's wedding? I mean, it's close. Uh, it's it's, but it, this is a slight adaptation. Hmm. Something going on here. Right. Oh, hello. Oh, let's see if we down. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, okay. Ow. Oh. Mario. Huh, that's a tough jump. Whoa! Hello. So wall jumping up there wasn't hard. Yeah. That's, really, that's really high. Hmm. Can you, uh, maybe you're supposed to fall down? I can do the hat jump. Nope. I do the jump here. Nope. Hmm. Hmm. Grab that guy real quick. Thanks, yeah, yeah. There we go. So if I do this. Oh. Oh, yeah! There it is! Nice. Woo! Good job. Ride the jet stream! Oh. Wait. Is this supposed to fill with water? <laughs> then. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Did we do that too early? Yeah, totally. Right? It's, it's, I knew it wasn't supposed to be that hard. That just know. seemed crazy. Platform. Get good at platform. Nah, this game has never has hasn't had those kinds of moves like required <laughs> before. So this is one of oh, those keep. negative. So like, at some point in this level, you'll see the word keep. keep. Like if okay. you zoom out far enough, you'll see keep, and then and then the moon will be up there. Right. Top a, of the second. Because it's a purple moon, which says it's in this level, right? Yep. Okay. That's usually how it works. Ooh. Look at this. Ooh, this is fun. Oh, that's just seaweed. Yeah. Oh, it's gold seaweed. Huh. Ooh. I thought for sure I'm like, oh, there's coins or something. Uh, okay. Right? All those, like, gems and stuff, you think they'd be a little oh. more uh, valuable than your coins, actually. Sweet. Uh, do we, need, do we need to open them in a certain, I don't know, maybe the numbers maybe. appearing over the boxes may have indicated uh, there that that is. might be the okay, case great. there, Cap, Capster. There we go. Yeah! Treasure trap! Hidden in the inlet. Look at that. We're already halfway done with this level. Sketch law, this is, I love this game. Right? This, this is a really good game. I love, I love, I love this bubbly sea. Mm hmm Oh, I can't capture the seaweed. Or whatever. Uh, Lorelai White says, Can not pet speak Spanish? No, not pet can not speak Spanish. Unless you're holding out on not me. Not Spanish. French a little bit. French a little Very bit, yeah. Very little bit. Yep. Uh, let's What's the see. secret? I can't tell you, but I'll give you a clue. Glass pa palace treasure chest. Oh, okay. man. Okay. Um. Uh, <laughs> Yeehaw! Rocket Man! Ooh, nicely done. Ooh, okay. Alright, hmm. so... Are these clouds, or...? Yes. Oh, okay, so... Oh, I see. So uh, it's, it's just hiding what's underneath here. Okay, got it. Okay, uh, so... Alright, that's good. Wow! Oh, and that clears away the clouds. All right. Oh, that's nice. Oh man, look at that. That was crazy. This is, this is intense. It's getting pretty intense up in here. I really like the effect actually. It's really satisfying to see the fog like the, float the, away. The clouds fall away? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Get out, Get out of here. I love those rings. Yeah. That's actually really satisfying to me. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, we're here. Here. Here they come. Ooh, oh nice. Uh, okay, so now here. Oh, not bad. No, there's some over here. See, I remember seeing this when I was you know, running past the other. Oh, whoa, no way. Because oh, like, oh, they always because they always cool. have a hidden path, right? Yeah. So huh. here's this. All right. Oh wait, oh I see, I see. Oh yeah, look, there we go. Yeah. There it is. Okay. okay so there's like, how are you supposed to clear that out, man? Oh, there's oh no okay, okay, good. Oh, so yeah! Right. Nice. Yeah! Piece of cake. Something treasure in the clouds. Woo woo! <laughs> woo woo! 
Oh, nice. It wasn't, but that's okay. That's okay. Wait, that's what the words say? Throw me off of my knee? No. That can't be. Loose foot, foot loose. loose. Everybody Pick, off cut foot foot loose. Pick off your Sunday shoes. Right. Jeez, Jeez Louise. Louise. Throw me off. Throw me off of my knees? Look it up, Steph. I can't believe it. That's look what it, the look words it up. are. There's no way. Throw me off my knees, Steph. Come on. Obviously. Foot loose words. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, so he needs four flowers. Please, Louise, pull me off of my knees. Okay, si very similar. That pick me. What were? What was your? Throw me off my knees. Throw me off of my knees. It's pretty similar. Oh, here I go. Pull me, pull me off of my. That's it's a little bit different. It's Not that much though. Different. Get my get my purchasable moon from this level. Knock this one out. We're flying. We're already done with this level. Oh man, are we? No, oh, fine. we're close. I mean, we're you did get a away. moon. I've, I've completely ignored whatever the main quest is. I'll find the fountain. Oh, Ooh. there was there was a main quest. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh wait, there's a main quest line. Whatever. Here's another one of these. Oh yeah, oh. it's supposed to fill up. You're definitely not supposed to have to do this. Probably when you find those four fountains and and you activate them all, the water level rises and it changes all of this I, stuff. I don't know what you're talking about, Seth. Probably. Are you, it's almost as though you don't want me to do it the hard way. <laughs> Is that what's happening here? You don't want me to do it the hard way, Steph? Sometimes Matthew wonders why, no, why on, he on, has babe. a bad Monday or like why why everything seems so hard. And it's like, well, maybe it's because you did it all the hard way. I don't know why you would assume that's what I know, that's just crazy. It's just crazy. Wait, there's, wait, hold up, there's... Yeah, I wonder if we could get to them when the water rises. Oh my god, okay, fine. Fine! You're gonna I hope that one doesn't rise. That's yeah, a joke. I hope I know, the water doesn't rise, Steph. I hope that the water never rises for us. The sun may also rise, but the water shall not, okay? Some people are also saying you need an octopus. Everyone needs an octopus in their life, I think. You, you know? would just eat yours. I would, I would eat mine. I have in the past. But I think everyone still needs. I have eaten octopus, or specifically the octopus that you. Is there a difference? Stephanie just needs octopi. In her life. I just really like. She's very pro octopodies. Octopus. Um, have you ever have you ever eaten There's octopus? Small parts, randomly. Have you ever tried Have you ever tried one of those guys? I have eaten an octopus. I've never had a live octopus though. Oh no, I've never had a live octopus. Are you sure? Yes. Really? Very. I've seen on TV people who will, and like restaurants that serve live octopus. I might try it because I'm pretty darn adventurous when it comes to food. Like I, I, hear, I like, can try almost anything. It's got all those tentacles but, that like. Yeah, that one is. Down your that like, one's really extreme for me. Well, you have to chew it up really good so it can't like oh. sucker your mouth. But then anymore. it's like, but then it's like suckering your mouth as you're chewing. It's that not terrible. The thing is, it's not alive, and because that would be really awful, right? The dispatch of the octopus, so he is not alive or anything like that, but like it's like a snake, where even if you cut a snake's head off, and if you grow up in the country, this is like a thing that you have to do, um, this, the rest of the snake will still move. That's for like so for like a half an hour that after the awful. snake is dispatched. Yeah, Jason's back in the Chickens up here. Do this too. Oh god, don't oh, tell me man. that. Don't tell me that. That's yep. just awful. Chicken, okay. oh, this oh. is mature stream, guys. This All is right. supposed to be Mario. This is supposed to be family friendly Mario but that's time. Just, but that's now, just let's, like... let's talk about the death wriggles of chickens and octopi. Well no, we have to explain where your story comes from though, because there are some restaurants like in Japan or like very, very specialty sushi restaurants. Where you can buy like one of the little octopi, oct octopi, octopodes, octopodes, which has don't just perpetuate the lie of just been dispatched and it is still moving when it's on your plate. How crazy is that? Um, and and like the suckers still work and can like attach to your cheeks and stuff. Not in like a permanent way, just in like a weird. This is my food is still moving kind of way. Um, would you try that? Eating a live octopus. It's not. It's again. It's not alive. It is not alive. Important. 
but it could still- it's not alive, but it's- it's zombie-like remains would still be able to, like, wriggle in your mouth It is still zombifying you a little bit. Yeah. I would have a hard time saying this to that. I would too, I think. Would you? I think I'd really have to work up the nerve to- I- no, that would be really extreme for me. And every once in a while there is stuff that we say no to. Um, would you try it, Jason? Um... Possibly. I'd have I, to I really don't... trust the restaurants. Yeah, that's sort of what I think too. A plus, like, octopus is better when it's like deep fried and seasoned and everything. So or I'm just, just wondering grilled. if the flavor is not gonna be there. Right. I like I like grilled octopus like with salt and stuff. So I don't really know. But um, but there is stuff that we have sort of a bright line for. Like we've had the opportunity in the past to try horse, which. I grew up with horses, I love horses, and I said no to that. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Well, it also, it but, also wasn't just horse, and I think this is the thing that's, that's worth mentioning. So, this is a good theme. It wouldn't matter if it was. This is a good theme of the day, right? So, speaking of, tell down there, only fish can make What would you do if someone asked you to eat horse meat? Well, the, and, and the thing is here, so we were in a position where we could eat raw horse meat. As, at a true. sushi place. Yeah. At a sushi so place. In Japan, in Japan, horse meat is very common in sushi restaurants. It's very common. So, and I and I also don't want to disparage any like cultures that eat that you know different cultures eat different things, and you know. Oh, that's great. Hey, nice. Hey, find find the moons left and right. Great. Um, any you know. Hey. Cultural differences are cultural differences. A lot of food that's weird to us is not weird to anyone else, right? So I'm totally cool with that. Um, but for me, growing up with horses and then trying to eat a horse was just a weird prospect. Well, and, and so for me, honestly, I would say I could probably, I would have a hard time eating like wriggling, I would have a hard time eating like octopi that is wriggling. That seems weird to me. But, Oh, shit. But a horse meat that has been cooked, I think I might be able to do that. I think I would be okay. The difference was we were in Japan and it was raw horse meat at a sushi bar. Mm -hmm. And that to me is a bit weird. You can also eat the meat, the main separately, the main, yeah. which is also a bit weird. Yeah. Um, I said no to that one. I also, if, if I were given the opportunity in like China to, to have cat or dog meat, I also would not. I would have a hard time with cat or dog meat. Wouldn't go there. Horse meat, like cooked horse meat. Can I do that? I don't know. That's, it's tough. I, I would be much more likely to do that than either cat meat, dog meat, or raw meat. Yeah. I, I think, um, you know, for me, it's I'm also, always like, I'm always like, take the opportunity, whatever it is. I'll try any, I will try anything once. But there are a couple of things where the experience of doing it is just not worth it to me. Yeah. Ooh. Um, nice. Thank you. Thank you. I try to keep this stream excite all these Good Mario job. Odyssey streams exciting by getting as many moons in as short of time as possible. Fantastic. It's I like just, a mobile game. <laughs> right. It's like the mobile Mario game. Um, Find Nemo while you're down there too. Right? Yeah. Should I, should I keep looking it's gonna for Nemo? going to be the sharkies. Nemo! Nemo! Uh, it's um... So here's a question for you. Yes, here's an answer potentially for you. <laughs> so you won't do the octopus stuff. Am I excited about the Incredibles too? Uh, I am cautiously optimistic about the Incredibles. I stuff. think it'll be kind of cool. Um, no, my last question about about the me. octopus controversy uh -huh. was: so you won't have the octopus. It's just because it's moving, right? It, it's yeah, not not. Oh. Um, not just because it's moving, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that, like, it's, not only is it moving, it's moving and it's, like, got s stickers, suckers, little suction cups, that as I swallow it or as it's in my mouth, it's gonna be, like, clinging onto my throat, and I don't want any, like, as I swallow something, I don't want something trying to claw back up. <laughs> 
I okay. already have a hard enough time, like, choking down some foods. I don't want something that's going to be, okay. like, choking me from the inside out. Because one of the things that Matthew... And is the flavor going to be that good to merit, like, hey, there's a creature that's literally clinging on for dear life inside my esophagus as I try to shove it into my into my Into gullet? your gullet? No, absolutely not. Gives up eventually. My thought. It, yeah. It, it's oh like man, a, you're smacking this poor guy on the noggin again. He's, he's, oh, man. he's sucking down the the fancy champagne water. It's, but whose is it? Isn't it his? Oh, probably not. Look, he's, he's probably he's, it's probably the the fancy snail stuff. If it I was a fancy if snail? I was paying more attention to the story of the game, then I would, would be able know. to tell you. Okay. But fine. alas, I am not. So. Okay, so that makes sense, because I was going to say... There's so many glowing things, and yet none of them have yielded a star. I know. This level um, is just bucking all the trends. Because you... One of the other things that we've tried, um, I'm a big fan of, is oysters. Right. And oysters are shucked. They're open, like, minutes before they come to your table, or they should be. Sure. Um, and so, in terms of, like, the amount of time that something has been dispatched... Actually, oysters are like the closest you've ever had to something that's been alive. If you think about it, they're just no, like I'm a, sure I've eaten they're alive. just I'm like sure a live things before. couple minutes off. Well, I mean, like maybe a spider. Yeah, spiders. They wow, just, thanks, like, guys. You are the best. We I, all eat eight spiders I'm, a year. I'm so uh, great. I'm so appreciative of all of you. You're all fantastic people. Thank what you. else would you have eaten that's alive? I feel like I've eaten something. Matthew's doing some weird eating when we're not looking, you guys. Guys, I'm telling you, I... Don't be judging. Okay. Matthew's, Matthew's out back, like, you know, I don't know, biting into some lizards or something. I don't know what he's doing back there. <laughs> yeah, is that is that the first thing that came into your mind? Me in the backyard literally biting the heads off a lizard. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You're like the Ozzy Osbourne of YouTube. Oh, oh man. That's a reference to so Ozzy Osbourne, classic singer. Yeah, when he uh, and reality show star. Eventually, uh -huh. when he needed to pay his bills again. Oh, uh, when oh, oh, he. Oh, I get it. Okay, I think I know what I got you. Um, he was very controversially known for biting the head off of a dove, correct? Uh, no, it was a bat. A bat? Yes, it was a bat. Are you sure? I am 100% right. positive it was a bat. Okay. A dove would not be on brand for Ozzy Osbourne. It could have been a black dove. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh, the classic black dove! Oh, you're so right, Steph. What was I thinking? Oh. People just really want you to get knocked with us now. One second, I'm also, get, get to the moon. Am People I are saying get the moon. Are I? Am I not? Get, have I not entertained you? Have I not gotten you enough moons yet? Matthew, the moon, not that moon, the moon. I would shoot the moon for you guys. Oh man. Too many I'm working on it. It's a work in progress. Ooh. Ooh, whoa, whoa, what's going on? Who knows? Oh my God. Bomb. Who knows? Oh, it doesn't yeah. matter. It poses literally zero threat to me in this game. Oh. Unlike that turtle. Unlike that turtle. Unlike it's that a very Koopa, which, dangerous turtle. Which totally is slaughtering me as we speak. There we go. Good. Two Woo! more. Nice. Talk him up. Hey, yo. Suck on that, Seaside Kingdom. Booyah, Grandma. Uh, all right. What else we got? We got, okay, so... I should actually probably focus on getting some of these fountain things that people can get. Um... There's a lot to this level, please. And of course, underwater levels are always the best. Street Bandit 64 has a very important question. Do you think Mario and Peach will get married at the end? Oh my gosh. Mario and Peach? I think, I think Bowser and Peach will get married at the end. be a long time coming. Oh, I'm really happy to hear that was going to be another moon. I'm so disappointed when I do simple tasks and don't get delivered moons anymore. You're like, oh man, I did something mediocre and only got a heart. <laughs> I'll have you know, Stephanie, that was a very difficult move I just did there. It's called the... Open a treasure chest? Yes. That was pretty complex. Look Whoa, this. look at these guys! Yeah. Hello! You just noticing these guys now? Yeah. Let's pay attention to the chat. That's, wow! You know what? You're oh. not doing paying attention to Twitter. Holy cow! I haven't opened up Twitter today. It's true. I'm saving it for a few minutes from now, actually. I've got it uh, timed yeah. out. Like a likely story. <laughs> Uh, let's see. You know that one of these, like, random rocks is gonna yield a moon somewhere. It's gonna be one that's glowing. I'm trying to keep an eye out. It's hard to tell with all the water effects, though. Do, 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 do. Do this one. 
Ooh, there's oh there's upside down guys there. That means there's a moon over oh, hither. Oh man. Get him. If I defeat them all, it'll probably give me a moon or something. Nice. Nice. Yes, you, you waggle that fishy tail. Yes. Or whatever. Waggle physics. Jiggle physics. Whoa. Uh, there you go. Nice. Holy jeez. Got him. Got him. No? Maybe they didn't leave. Huh. I think they re yeah, just, just bam. This is a, nope. this is a pretty suspicious pile. Right, here. Oh. right, right here. Nope. Weird. Totally not it. Uh, hmm. What about that one? Yeah, let's try one of each of them. Hmm. Nope. Maybe it's in the middle. Or it's maybe it's in a random spot on the ground that isn't actually marked by anything. No. That's not the Mario. That's not my, hashtag not my Mario. Not my Mario. Hashtag not my Mario. My Mario's a sociopathic killer. Come on. Oof, you're gonna need to. Uh, you're gonna die. Or Dude, am what I? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, here? Well, so Look. close. I know. Was it? Was it really close? It was all white. Yeah, right. Come on, there's gotta it was be. Splashing red. There's gotta be something around here. We were dying. I guess not. Maybe not. Maybe you gotta this maybe you gotta reverse ground pound the ceiling where the boot. Oh, the yeah, classic reverse ground pound. You know, you, when you hit hit the bricks with your head. You know. Wait, wanna, there you go. All right, well, stressing me out under there. Well, that didn't work. Here, let's go to the next island. Maybe, right. maybe you have to come back later for that one. Or something. Maybe like Stephanie has been alluding to this whole time. Maybe if I do the actual mission that the game has told me to do, it might it'll help you access. Some of these areas. Are these the things that people are trying to get? Okay. Uh, maybe? Oh, look! Oh, look You're a bubbly little wobbly. Look, I could eat him. Alive. You or could. Dead. His, su cool. his suckers would suck into the inside of your chicken. Nick, no, oh, Matthew! Cool. I love you! Please don't swallow me! <laughs> See, I can't do that to a cute thing that doesn't want me to Oh, do look that. at him. He's like inking it out. Like Is he a kid or a squid? Oh my gosh, look! We're in, we're in Mario Sunshine Land! Oh man, whoa! Did you just poop out another squid? What happened there? Uh, no, he respawned. Uh, <laughs> I, I can see how you would be confused by this, though, certainly. It was weird. So. Oh my gosh, don't jump into lava with your squid! Oh, no, I, can, I can clean it off. Oh, okay, do that. I thought you just told me not to. Ooh, the springs are missing. Nice oh man! There you go. It's like Mario's Spa Day! Whoa! Look at that! Oh my gosh! Uh, so. It I, does remind me of Splatoon a little bit, because you are repainting this area. Right? It's Splatoon mixed with Mario Sunshine. This is fun. I like that. That's, that was very satisfying. That's a, That was the most satisfying part of Mario Sunshine, was always, like, cleaning off everything and being right? like, oh, yes, yeah. job well done. As someone who's very, like, neatness-oriented, huh. that was a very satisfying and cathartic game. Although it would bother me between levels or different missions that the stuff that you had cleaned up would come back. That bothered me. Yeah. So it would be like, why did I spend all that time cleaning up every last scrap of the... the I know, I'm being so remnants. anal retentive about it. Yeah. So does Splatoon drive you crazy? Splatoon drives me a little bit. It does have that effect as well. Splatoon, Splatoon has that thing where, I don't know, like... It's satisfying for a little bit, and then the enemy team comes by and starts painting things their own color. And then it's like, you painted on a diagonal, we clearly like had a parallel, we clearly had a parallel pattern yeah, going here. Yeah, it's like, guys, here. why can't we all just get along oh, and gosh. this world together? We can paint it together and create beautiful patterns together. Right? One more fountain to go! Which is where? Where is the last one? Oh, there mm. it is. Oh, it was back in that area where okay. it Here, I'm gonna, here, you you swim for that area. I'm gonna hop over to Twitter for a few minutes. I know, to eat as well. Just wiggling all the way down. At WearMonkey27 on Twitter says, Homesick, watching my first hashtag teach you live. Well, hey, welcome. welcome aboard. And whenever, where, wherever you are feeling homesick for, it's okay. Homesick? Homesick. Maybe, or maybe our. Are oh, they home sick. Or are they home oh, sick home now? sick. It is there home you sick. You are at home. You are not feeling homesick. You are at home <laughs> feeling, feeling sick. sick. See, slightly, slightly yes. different. 
You know what though? If you are homesick or at homesick, right? Either way, we're here for you. Right now, Chris is homesick for his home, so he can be homesick. Wow. Right? I know. I know. Uh, let's see. <laughs> At Dead Gal Walking Fives is back from a month in archive land Whoa. to see nine million subscribers. Congrats! Yes. Can, I get a, can I get a clap and a half? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Okay. Oh my gosh! Sorry. Then we'll get clap and a half. I saw. I saw a hole down here. Woo! Here we go. Oh man! Oh man! Whoa! Show me moon! Ah! Wait, really? <laughs> no! Come on, game! I found a somewhat hidden area, and you're not giving me a moon for what is this? Hashtag not my Mario. Man, it's almost like you have to try in this level. Right? This, crazy. That's how you know it's end game stuff. Right? That's how you know we're in the. This is the final level. This They're not is, just like literally shoving the moons into your arms. <laughs> oh. Hashtag you, not my Mario. You landed on this platform safely. Congratulations, a moon for you. Ooh, there's something down there. Wait, I haven't been down there yet. Let's go again. Oh, it's the Sphinxy. Sphinxy. Oh, hey, look at him. Hey, so he was also in the the desert level. He's in the desert level. Has he been in others? Is he in he is he in Easter egg? In like other levels? Perhaps he is. Oh man. Man, we're already at 70 of the purple coins. We can look through those. That's great. Right? Oh, there's one of the um seeds over there that we can plant. Oh nice, okay. And let's talk to this guy. Sphinxy Bajinxy. Hey Spank. What you got going on? What you got, girl? Greetings, traveler, and to your hat as well. Can you my riddle? No, because I can't speak underwater. What right. is the name of this land? Hopefully you can read my mind. It was... Bubble Bane. Got it! Yeah. That wasn't much of a riddle. It was Bam. literally... It was just a It was question. barely even a trivia question. Barely above common knowledge. Okay. Okay. How many fountains did Bowser steal? They said four fountains. Four. Got it! Yes. Okay, what else? Oh man, we read basic information. See if you can answer a third one. When you when you brave turn into a red fish, you get the attack. The gushing move. Oh man. Every day I'm gushing. By the way, gushers, fantastic. So good. Answer me this. Room in this land that can only be entered if you're wearing the chosen clothing. What is the clothing? Uh oh. Oh no. Nothing but undies. I no. doubt it's nothing but it's undies. It's not. It's probably a swimsuit. It's either a swimsuit or a resort, right? Since this is supposed to be like relaxing beach. I would say swimsuit. No! Ah, oh, no! Did you go overboard with speculation or is that just how you got here? Okay. All right, That's fine, kind of fine. Open. Resort. How about resort? Yeah, there you go. Correct, but did you really know that? This is a normal place to wear a swimsuit, right? And the pirate look is great, even on these. Lucky guess. It was indeed a lucky guess. Yes, it, it was. It was more of an educated yeah, guess. Yeah, it's called an inference. It's an educated guess. Why am I here? Got lost, fell off Dory to answer, to ask questions, wanted to swim. To ask questions. Sure. Great. Yes! Wow. Woo! Wow. I am without speech. Take this. Okay, great. Yes! We got Nailed a moon! It. We got a moon! Guys, guys, huge news! We just got a moon. High five! High five! Holy jeez, we got a moon! Wait. Got a moon! Holy cow! Another moon! Got a moon! Yes! Yes! Epic play, bros! Yeah, bros. So many moons! Rocking it out! Woo! Uh, okay. Since, okay, so since I'm headed over to that other area, yes. I might as well take this seat with me. Might as well. Because I can plant. I mean, it's just, it's just the it's efficient called thing efficiency. To do. Uh, it's called multitask. <laughs> Swim, Mario. Swim like you're like, oh, wait, there's a moon. Yes! Unintended moon! Oh, wait, what? Got awesome. it! Awesome! No way! Yeah, boy! How is this Got possible? Oh, my no, God. No, don't drop your seat. Yeah, jeez, Mario. Mario. No, Mario, no, Mario. what are you doing? Mario, Mario. Mario. Jeez. Mario, grab the seat. Yeah, come on, man. All right, I'm back in Twitter. Are you? Yeah, yeah. Were you ever in Twitter to begin with? Yeah, I have to be honest here. I read several tweets. Yeah, did you read like a couple tweets? I'm sure you read those tweets. 
Man, maybe you don't want to hear what at Bowtie0001 wants to say. Yeah, I'm I, so I would love sorry, to. Bowtie Gaming. Matthew just isn't ready for your wow. wisdom. Wow. I'm so, I am ready, Steph. I'm Are so you ready. sure? I'm so ready. Bowtie0001 demands full attention. Okay, I'm, I'm here. Right, I'm here right. for Bowtie00. Zero zero Hi, Matt Pat and Cordy Patrick. Love you guys. Congrats on 9 million subs. Yeah! Yes! Hot face. Hot face. Um, let's see. At Graceful Fangirl says, hashtag GT Live made me fall in love with Doki Doki Literature Club, and they drew an awesome picture. Oh my gosh, that's so really good! Cool. Yeah, it's really oh, I good. Love that. That's great. Right? No. Um, let's see. At Ashley Hodling4 says, I love all the codes you have. I always crack them, and it's good for practice. Love them. Uh, also, can I get a clap and a half for uh, for my complete code test on Friday? Ooh! Oh, you oh can. that's awesome. Clap and a half. Yeah. Ooh! One oh, of the awesome. true story in our um, in our college, uh, when Matthew and I were both freshmen, one of the most um, like hard to get into freshman seminar classes because all freshmen were required to take a seminar class. Which, like, what does that even mean? Um, what did that mean? Stephanie? It, nothing. It meant nothing. Wow. But one, of the That's fire. but one of the classes you could take was a cryptography class, um, and it was all about code breaking. It was one of the like most um, like hard to get into classes, but it was apparently almost also one of the hardest. Code breaking. Yeah, it's, it's apparently it, it was a hard it was a hard class. It's no, it's I mean there's a reason why there's like you know why the CIA uses all sorts of secret codes during war. Right. You know I, I realized something here, which is that I can go back. Could so you that, use that on the... Yes, that yeah, you use it on here. Oh, man. There you go. Okay. That's why they said you needed an octopus. Well, you know what? They were right. They were 100% correct, and I fully respect them for that. That's because the chat knows literally everything. They do. They know everything all the time. This. Have you ever considered how much the chat actually knows? Everything. Everything. Literally. So, and this guy runs out of water, I'm assuming, right? I would think so. So you have like to like trade them off. Does he? Yeah, oh, it is getting smaller. He's got a lot of water though. Oh, poor baby. Okay, he's like so, on dry land. Right. So he in, the land, in water. In water. Okay. Oh yeah, definitely. Whoa! Oh man. Rings. Now you're like Star Fox. Right? Do a barrel roll. Do an octopi roll! Oh, can you go straight up from where the sun is coming from? Can I go straight up with the like, like no, where the sunbeams are? Oh. So it's interesting. It seems like I'm limited. I can't go permanently high. Like, I'm limited. I you can, can only, only go, go so a far. set amount higher than the platform I'm currently on. Yeah. Okay. So that's good to know. Okay. But I can go here. Oh, man. All right. I'm trying to figure this out. So if I do... Here. I'm gonna fall a little bit. There. Oh, no. Ah, poop. You got it. You got it. Go, 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 go. No! Oh, no. Oh, oh man. Okay. You gotta get through it faster, I guess. Yeah. Alright, shoot. I was a fool. Okay. We got it. So there's, a, so there's a treasure chest at the end. You got this. Okay. So I can skip this one pretty well. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Ouch, hey man. We're fellow, Mind your we're own fellow business. octopi. Right? Come on, dude. We're octopity friends. Okay. okay. Alright, so So you just need like a straight shot through this guy. Right? Okay. So we're gonna go one up. Right. Fall. Straight through. Go, 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 yes, oh. yes, 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 yes! Oh man, he's Nailed all dry it. and shrivelly right. over it's there. Really bad for Jeez. Our, our octopus friend. Man. Yes! That wasn't too bad. Alright. Hey, oh, that was the bonus one! Yes! So we got both of them. Here. And I'm gonna oh, awesome! Him. And now he's gonna be happy and full of Aww, life and water. That's so nice. And no one's gonna eat him alive. Probably a little traumatized. He's, yeah, probably, he's, probably, he's probably a little bit. He's going to take him a while to live this game he's, down. He's got, he needs a bit of therapy after that one, but it's going to be okay. Right. We may have 
shoved him into some like poison water or whatever. It's okay. It's all good. Uh, oh, and I can also get those purple things. Oh, sweet. So I'll get the purple things and then I'll get the last fountain. And. Do you think there's a moon under the golden one? A moon under. Oh, because there was a moon under the purple guy? Oh, yeah. The purple guy! What? He's everywhere. Literally, literally, literally inescapable from my life. Right. Is this one that I see? I'm losing track of this one. That said. Oh, oh, wait. Okay. I bet if I kill all these, I'll fuck up. Mm. Guaranteed. No? Come on. Wait, really? No, come on, game. They're totally trolling you in this level. Don't do me like that. Also, you've gotten like 22 moves. So, Stephanie. are you really complaining that hard here? I'm just saying. Game logic dictates that when you body slam something glowing on the ground, and it's in, specifically in a Mario game, and it summons a horde of enemies, then by defeating said enemies, you will receive a reward. All right, fine. So, so then. That is what video game logic demands in this situation. But apparently I was wrong. Oh, hey buddy. Get full up. Okay. Yep, you can do it. You can do it. Got this. The fourth fountain. Whoa. Oh, okay. oh. Right here. There it is. There it is. Here. Four. Nice. Four. Oh my gosh, we're almost going to complete this level. Right? We're going to beat this game today. Woo! Our there it is. Our Odyssey will come to an end. What's the end of the Odyssey? Spoiler alert? It, it, he finishes the journey. He comes back. Like I said, spoiler alert. He stops his old wife from getting married. Right? Yeah. He comes back and everyone's kind of like abandoned him at that point. And so he's like, man, I'm mad. Well, I didn't want to like give it all away, you guys. But spoiler alert for a Greek epic from... <laughs> spoiler alert from over 2,000 years ago. Hey, man. Not all of us have seen it, okay? <laughs> Uh, time to take back the sparkle water! Okay. Do it! So I'm assuming I need to, per Mario fashion, slam right. him on the head, but because he has... Lava. But because he has lava on his head, I need to... Oh wait, here we go. No. <laughs> one of these, I'm telling you, one of these things is gonna... Like, one random it's one so is gonna... so weird, be... man. Okay, so I need to shoot on top of his head. <gasps> yeah! Oh, nice! Yes! Okay, so now... Oh. Extinguish that dude. Oh, actually, just shooting him with Just water. need to yeah. clean it. Oh, I didn't even need to clean it. I just need to clean him up. Here we go. Woo! Coming at you, son. Get him. Get him. Get him. Go. This is actually a really cool spot, though. Oh, can I shoot Right? Him? I love how big the area is for you to, like, just follow him around. Right? And also, as the octopus, I like being able to... No, I need to... No, you gotta get him on the head. head. So just round one is... Woo! Clean off his head and now it's landing on his head. I love how satisfying moving around using the octopus is. It's actually right? really fun. Oh. It looks great. Go. Oh my god. Go. Oh. Go. No! Oh, oh. oh man, you gotta. Give yeah, you gotta a book it, here. man. Okay, oh, he's, he's paused. There we go. Okay, he's caught. Yes! Nice, got okay, him. good. No, I can't double up. Whoa. Okay. I was gonna say, can you just stay up there? Right, just double up. One special, third time's a charm. Here we go. Come on, where is he? Wait, where did he go? Oh. There he is. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Good. Oh, hey, hey, buddy. Okay, got him. Oh, nope. ah, you got JK. Right. You he dodged you. He did. <laughs> right? <laughs> His leap jukes. Okay, here we go. Oh. Right, the enemies on the moons are getting smarter in this level. No. Was, he got you that time. That was okay, here we go. All right. Oop. You're all about it. Okay, here it is. Get and definitely get around the water. Okay. Oh. Wait, okay. There it is. Okay. Oh. Bam. Nice. Got him. Oh, he's got such a headache. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh. What you do? Oh my God. That poor guy. We yeah. just. Blew him up! Oh, a beautiful rainbow! Oh, that makes it all better! Yay, we just slaughtered an innocent creature! <laughs> Massive loss of life! But it's so. Oh, wait, so It was the good. mommy of all of those star. Right. Or well, all I, of those octopus. 
That's one of those pink things. Oh, weird. Oh, another pink thing. Oh. It's another one of the blank pink things. Okay. Weird. It's okay. It just gave birth to all the sea life in this area, but you know, Mario gotta save the princess! Right? He needs Whatever. his little moonies. Boom! <laughs> just like that. The glass is half full. Alright, I'm gonna hop into the chat now that you've uh, just defeated boss. Uh, Enderman Gaming says, mind blown! Dragoncraft is just, Matthew Patrick, look at the chat. Literally, right, his mind has been blown. Uh, it's Squidward. It says, Chikafunue Sume. Um, yeah. Let's see. Be happy about slaughtering an innocent ah. tomorrow. Chik My yeah. goodness, what a pretty sunset, and it's so nice that the fountains and the sparkle water are back. Aww. It's, it's, it's the non-alcoholic version of champagne in the Mario right? universe. It's sparkle water. But it doesn't seem like Bowser's in this kingdom. So we just slaughtered him for no apparent reason. What? Aw, oh, man. man. All right. Great, Jake the Snake says, I'm peeking through your window. That's That's really that's uncomfortable. That's, that's just very, I'm very, very weird. Uh, okay. We can make our way to the next kingdom now. Yeah, I know what Kathy's saying. Right? I get it. Uh, oh, but, but before we do... Do you think Cappy's like, running you on a wild goose chase to buy time for Bowser? Whoa! Whoa, conspiracy. Oh man, someone, someone's theorizing over right? there. Uh, Elisa Dubois says, his head exploded, and Mark says, mine equals blown. Let's see. Beach, that's a good one. What else we got? Benjamin Thompson says, oh my. Uh, Alex Vizini Vizin says, don't ground pound. Oh, well, too well, old. Uh, that's fine. Something64 just says, sushi. Ooh. This so this is up where, remember, I'm like, oh, there's going to be stuff Oh, yeah, here. yeah. I Grab your moon from him. Yeah. It's out! I want to get a nice view of the sea, so I climbed and climbed and got all the way up here. You made it, too. So here, take this power moon. Great. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Captain Toad. Good job, Captain Toad. He, even Excellent. Captain Toad is like, man, there are way too many moons just lying around here. I've got so many to spare, Captain honestly. Captain Toad's like, what am I doing with these? I have absolutely no purpose in doing this. All right, there we go. Right? People just give them to you. They're right? just like, oh, yeah, here you go. No, that's Mario. Clearly, they have no value. <laughs> I have no reason to gather this, but you could probably use some of this garbage. Right? There we go. Woo! Knocking it out. All right, we're going from 205 to... Show me! Moody, moody, moon! 233! 233, nice! That's not bad. Not bad at not all. Not bad at all. We almost got 30 so far. Yeah. Right? It was 205, you said? Yeah. Yeah! That was pretty that awesome. Was pretty, that was pretty fast. That was a good for, for luncheon. Bowser can't run forever. The Luncheon Kingdom, huh? All right. Luncheon? This so the, I've been I've been wondering when this one would show up. So this is the one that all the like trailers showed. It's just covered in small sandwiches. Is this the catering? It's the catering, I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right, because because everything else has had like we have the sparkle water, we have the cake. Now we need the food. Oh man. Uh, here, while we're flying, I'll call out Emmanuel Valve Valverde in the chat. He says, since I came to the U.S. more than a month ago, this is the first time I can catch a live stream. Because work, I came from Costa Rica and have been following you for years since the SSB lore came out. Yay! Woo -woo. So Bowser wants to make a toast using the sparkle water? Sounds like his wedding preparations are moving along. And oh, man. Uh, how do I long jump? Wait, when you want to jump really far, or if you want to zoom even faster, Mario, run, it. crouch, then jump. What? No. That's crazy talk. Where has this secret move been? We should read up on the Luncheon Kingdom. It says here that this country is famous for using a volcano to prepare, oh, a dish called stupendous stew. Oh, okay, great. It's not, not quite epic stew. Uh, oh, I epic get it. Stew. Luncheon King, it's like for the wedding catering. Catering is a big deal at the wedding. What did you think we were talking about? I, it was... Like, hey, welcome welcome to the street. Hi, hi. Hi, it's good to be hi, here. I'm Matt. Nice uh, to meet you. So, no, I was I was trying to picture, like, I was like, what does lunch have to do so with so Bowser's cool. wedding? And I was like, are they having lunch at the wedding? But I guess, like, it's all those, like, things at weddings that you pay for, and one is the caterer. Right. So I get, okay. My okay, goodness, fine. they're right here, the brutals, yeah. Right. As they should be, because that's what we're after. 
If not, All right. if not, Bowser himself. You start running around a little bit. I'm gonna call out one or two more people. Sorry, real quick, I need to do this. Do you smell? No, 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 no. What the brutals are cooking? Oh, that was brutal. Literally. Ah, uh, if you know what I mean. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, Nitro X4B says, you guys are so good at this game, and the Tiger Squirrel says, I'm from Western North Carolina, the Asheville area. Thanks for being an awesome, being awesome and representing North Carolina proudly, Steph. Thank you for watching from North Carolina. It's cool. I love North Carolina. Um, also, this is my first live stream. Can I get that sweet clap and a half? Yeah, absolutely. That's sweet, clap and a half. Clap and a half. Awesome. Look at that. Land in the new kingdom, less than a minute in. Boom. Woo! Oh, I like the teal blue. These later kingdom moves have yeah. beautiful coloring. I'm going back to North Carolina for the first time in a couple of years uh, over uh, over Christmas. Oh, what? I get it. I'm like, why do I have two blue moons? Yes, you're rolling on corn. What? Yes. Thank you. No, I was wondering why I had two blue moons, but I remember now that we found earlier. The blue moon saw you standing alone. <laughs> we, we found earlier the, um, the like secret passage to this level. Remember? Oh. And so that's so we oh, already geez, have one. Oh, that was where that was. Right, like, okay. like three streams ago. It's coming back. It's coming back. So, I, so what is what is what's, what's up? Are we just like is this punch? What are we what are we swimming this, in? Lava. This, this is volcanic. Bubble gum. Volcanic lo lava. So Why? Lava. What? I don't. I haven't had any sort of luncheon recently that's involved lava. I think this might this be hot lemonade. Hot pink lemonade? Yeah. Uh, no, unfortunately that is not the case. I'm, I'm sorry to throw Are you sure? Yeah. I mean, that would be pretty uncomfortable. I would see why you wouldn't want to dip yourself in that. And that's a lemon. What's a lemon? This you a are fireball. a lemon. You know. a fireball. Does that look like a fireball yes. to you? It's, it's, te <laughs> it's technical name is Pobodo or look something like that. Look at this thing. That's not a fireball. That's clearly a lemon. It's not a lemon. In you're, what you're world? In what world does that look, look like a fireball? It's a photo. It's a. It's clearly a. Have lemon. you have you never Mario'd woman? This. <laughs> I'm telling you, this does not look like a Mario fireball. Sir, I don't like know. Have Mario you ever seen a lemon? lemon? It like they're in the refrigerator or what? Yes, a, a, a lemon in general, Steph. Have you ever seen a lemon? I have Cause, seen. Because if you, my oh. my share of a lemon. Because if you had seen a lemon, you would know. Madam, that this is no lemon. Sometimes life gives me lemon. <laughs> so happy for you. <laughs> and I know what you do with them. You put them in your teeth. I know. <laughs> I'm sure there's going to be a way later. No. It was worth a shot. Uh, let's see. Mangle the Broken Fox asks, what is a weenus? What? Excuse well. Me, what is a weenus? Well. Part of your body. It is. It is. Is everyone's favorite part of your body? Uh, not everybody. There we go. It is. It is the fold of skin on your elbow. Yes. No, nothing scandalous, guys. No, and it's not anything scandalous. Family friends. Family uh, friendly stream. Let's see. Except for all of last week, where everything was premature. <laughs> <laughs> Family oh, friendly stream, except for last week, which is kind of weird. Yeah, you that know, was some a bit of, of an time. anomaly. Last, it, was, it was some of the time, family friendly. Back to Mario. Yeah, now we're back to Mario. Yeah, last week, Speaking last of week which, was our darker side. Speaking of which, Misty says, my kids are three and six, and their names are Reyna and Connor. They love GT Live. Thank you. Oh, boy. Uh, can <laughs> they get a clap and a half? Absolutely. You absolutely can. Absolutely. Oh, uh, wait, one sec. I will. Oh, my gosh. What? Is that salt? It is. I'm, uh, I would assume so. Yeah. Or is it some mysterious Mario creature that I'm just not good enough to identify? I'm sorry. Maybe it's Steph. sugar. Yeah, maybe it's sugar. You're not going to ground pound that crack? I will in a second. I want to. I saw a moon over here. Hold up. Hold up. There's a moon over here. Yeah. Piled on the salt. Step. <laughs> Five and a half. Nice. Not sugar. Also, not a living, breathing mark. Step. I'm so. I'm so disappointed in you that you think that that's a lemon. What do you? That's a tomato down there. Did you yeah. Know that? Yeah, I did. You did. That? Yeah, totally. Are you, are you sure? I like tomatoes. Do you reckon? Yeah. And you don't like lemons. How? You don't like fireballs? What, I'm just what, saying. Oh, that makes no sense. Look that out, excuse makes no sense. I'm Stephanie. just saying, look out over that pink muck and tell me if that looks like lava. No, it looks like it hot be, pink lemonade. It, 
Sure. Which would make anything maybe yellow stew. in it. Maybe it's the hot stew. Oh. Have you thought about that? Look, it's our, favorite, it's our favorite friends, the Brutals. Oh, there oh, they are. Great. We stole a whole boatload of this place's stupendous stew for the boss's wedding chow. Okay. But I'm going to head back up the volcano to finish off that stew. Finish it off. If you know what's good for it. Finishing it? Not leaving. Okay. Oh no, it's the scary bunny rabbit. Oh man! Who has literally the most predictable attack pattern ever. Got him. He still got you though. I you know, know, you, you did. know what? He totally did. I misjudged my jump. I only, have myself, I only have myself to blame, okay? Don't, don't judge. <laughs> don't judge! I mean, you're the one who said he was so predictable, it was just basically ridiculous. <laughs> Nice. His wind up for his attack takes so long. Right? It's, it just takes so Why long. Why do we have like the green pill and the red pill over there? Is this like is this like a yes, matrix? Yes, it's, it's the matrix, Stephanie. Yes, look here. Let's take the red pill. Okay. Oh man, it's there to help us out when we need extra life well, to defeat nice. this incredible boss. What's the green for then? Right? <laughs> I, I bet it. I, I bet it gives me another heart. That's crazy. I might be going out on a limb here and saying this, but it might give me just like a bonus heart. Just crazy. Like, well, there we go. Blue. blue moon. Blue moon. Literally. Literally blue moon. It was literally blue. It was literally right there. We beat the brutal. That's it. Okay. I got that's, that sorry. That's, I, I apologize for how terrible that was on everyone's behalf. Mm, Under the cheese time. rocks. Guys, we got to look at get some cheese rocks. Ooh, okay. This is such a weird king. This, I thought maybe that this level would make more, so what I was saying earlier was, I thought earlier that this level would make more sense once if I saw it in game. Oh wait, there's stuff back here. Um, Cause ever since the trailer, this level Ooh. has confused me. Like, I was curious how the aesthetics of this level would work. Yeah. It's still just as weird. It is. Right, it's really, it's, I know all the different worlds have different, like, art themes and this and that, but this one just feels so out there. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, it's just very different. No, I, I like that it's sort of a... Uh, yeah, you like that it, it's hot pink stuff? I like the hot pink lemonade. And the lemon. Um, I don't know. It reminds me of, like, a... It reminds me of like a surrealist painting or something. <laughs> I can see that. Do you know what I mean? It's got like it's got all these like crazy colors, these like weirdo shapes, and things are like it's it's like a mountain, but it's made of cheese. See, you know? It, 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 <laughs> it reminds me of a uh, cubism actually. Oh. Like everything being like so choppy and chunky. Yeah. That and and like almost like crystalline. Right. It has like that crystal quality. It reminds me of. Uh, there you go, Magma Swamp, floating in sync, great. Um, it reminds me of like a uh, cubist painting almost. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Very, very Oh very man, I was gonna say, so sophisticated. We're actually working on uh, a theory right now about uh, gaming and art. So I think that's probably why I found the brain. It is actually. So I'm assuming that there's gonna be, again, in the idea of going different ways to achieve the same purpose. I'm assuming, so I'm not saying like any Taking the hard way yeah, to taking finish the hard everything? Way. Well, no, I'm taking the hard way to get the hidden moons. Ooh, I'm okay. assuming there's gonna be a moon like on one of these glowing rocks Okay, right? okay. So Did you notice the green bean? It's just a coin. What green bean? The one you just kicked. Nothing. Oh, oh yes, thank you, the, gr the green bean. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Okay. Good one, Jason. Thank you for that. Uh, oh, ow, Mari. Oof. Just smacked him. him in the face. Okay. Okay, okay. There's, huh. There's gonna be... There's an interesting music cue up here. Woo, oh, hello. No, come on. Mario game... Come on. There's gotta be something on huh. I guarantee there's gonna be one, something on those pillars. There's you a quest. Be, you wouldn't be able to... Oh my gosh, they're doing polka. It makes me really happy. It reminds me, it reminds me of home. Reminds me of where we're going for Christmas. Ohio. We're also going to Ohio over Christmas. Right, we're going both, both to Ohio and uh, North Carolina. The whole North tour, Carolina. and Pennsylvania. Oh my gosh. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, there we go. Nice. Look, there we, we go. We should have to go to the other end. Right. 
right? No, I, I knew it would say, be they're really, they're really trolling you these last few levels. Um, also worth noting, these random kids. <laughs> is there like, I wonder Pick if there's the a stuff. I wonder if there's a, a, there's gonna be one for Ooh, like recycling, right? There's a theory here where the, the food in this kingdom is not actually as all natural as it seems. It's all canned. Hey, Skip. Good skips like skips like I don't mind food that comes out of cans. In fact, skip some actually, of my best food comes out of cans. Like, <laughs> I'd rather that than most of the dry people I eat. Uh, Ooh, it's hot. Big welcome to Mount Borbono, home of, to the hugest, the hugest flavors anywhere. Big flavor. All right. Welcome to Flavor Country. Hold on. <gasps> There you go. go head on down to Flavor Town. I show you around, but uh, things are kind of on fire right now. Oh, are they? Cool. Oh, here we go. Levels on fire. Th that bird up Ooh. there showed up out of nowhere and took over our stew pot. What a jerky! Just when we were making more of our special stupendous stew, too, everyone was getting ready to dig in. Okay. Well, All right. Well. I bet I'm here to help you out. I can do this. I will save you, luncheon people. The meat on the plateau. Wait, hold up. The meat, the guy. meat, the bird is going Don't to worry, it. no doubt about it, that bird will see the meat. Are these the little meat forkies? Is on the they are little forks. They're pretty cute. Such They're kind of a, bendy forks. Such a weird yeah, this is great. <gasps> this here's a place where chefs come dressed to cook, no matter how you slice it or not. Okay, so. Alright, you gotta get, so gotta get, a gotta get into your duds eventually. Oh, wait. Here's some of these guys. Oh, there we go. And then what else we got? Maybe you can go in slots. here and, and put your duds on. Let's do some slots. Oh, okay. I got a gamble, Steph. Oh, got a gambling man. addiction. Here we go. Play some slots? Yes. Ten coins. I don't know if I can afford it. All right. It, I don't know. I don't know, man. Okay, one. So it's after the heart. Oh. Oh, no! No! I refuse. I leave this game. Ooh, okay. I don't want your pity coins. Man. Uh, okay, so I do want to. Doing slots. Okay, okay. All right. Doing, we'll we'll get you through your slots. I'm, de I'm, dedicate, I'm dedicating tweets. these slots to my grandma. No, you can talk. I have some good tweets. Are, okay, oh. are you sure? Yeah. All right. Uh, at Jackson Reed on Twitter says, "Congrats on nine million. For reference, an NFL stadium can hold about seventy thousand people, give or take ten thousand, and there are only thirty. Are you ready for that? Yeah, I'm listening. And there are only 31 NFL stadiums in the U.S. You have enough subscribers to fill over 128 stadiums. That's pretty awesome. That is that incredible. Works. That's, that's a, amazing. That's really cool. That is amazing. There we go. Ooh, whoa, two. Whoa, double. That was getting Oh, man. Ready. Oh, man. There we go. And... I like that the music ramps up, but it actually doesn't yeah. speed up the process at all. I know, not at all. It's like, oh, it's getting exciting, but it's still it's, actually... It's still exactly going same. exactly the same speed. No, that was that was a very thought. I, like I know, I too. really like that one. That one's awesome. Suck on that, NFL stadiums. Right? Ooh, ooh coins. Yeah. Some eggplants. Eggplants, man. Uh, hearts. Just, man, everything gives you hearts. Uh, is there anything on top of it? At Galaxy else? Games 56, request that we change outfit from snow to lunching kingdom. I will do that. We will do our best lunch outfit. Don't mistake it for a brunch outfit, Matthew. That's completely different. Brunch is insane. Come on, Steph. Uh, who does brunch anyway? A lot of people. There, there's a all those people who are lined up in, in Los Angeles, man. They're all waiting, like, hours to eat brunch. It's a joke in Justice League. Too. It is actually a joke in Justice League, it's, which we saw last night. It's, a, it's an oddly, it's an oddly placed joke. It's a in weird, Justice League. it's a little weird. It's kind of like, oh, this is kind of random. Yeah. Just, just kind of in there. Yeah, yeah. Another Mario. Woo! There's some coins. I saw what is this? I saw a flicker. Here. Um, let's see. Anything else here? This guy. Am I slacking off? No way. Oh, wait, there's one glowing there. Yes! Thank you, moons! Woo! Nicely done! Moon, Moon Kingdom is a little slower than the, than the Seaside Kingdom. Ah, oh, this makes a lot of sense. At only for the only for the strem. 
Oh, only for the strength. Says the pink stuff is Pepto Bismol. Oh, it makes that so much does sense make now. a little bit more sense. Oh, you can't land it. in it, or else you'll just become so digestively regular that you won't even be able to survive. It does look like Pepto Bismol. I hope that doesn't. I hope that doesn't say anything about this stew that they're making. Like, hey, we're, we got this stew, but afterwards you're gonna have to have like a lot of Pepto Bismol. You're gonna have some some trouble if you know what I mean. It's a, it's a hard way coming out. Okay, right. so I need to be a chef. Yep. All right, here's chef Get that one. guy. Luckily, I have enough uh, coins already. Yep. Even though we just started, so we're all there. And at GT Love, it says, Steph, please name one food that you don't like. Ooh. I do not like durian. Black. Oh well, no, I. No. no one likes durian. That's not. Yeah, and that's really obscure. I really don't like black pepper. That is accurate. Hate. I don't know if that's a food so much as a Hate seasoning, black though, Steph. I, I think that might be copping out. It's also, a, it's real, a thing you ingest. Also, real quick, can I just point out the fact that like Skip's just hanging out? Like, <laughs> he's just waiting. He's just like a statue. He just there. really wants a dinner. Boop, boop. <laughs> he's just sitting there, right? Just sitting there patiently. What a good guy. Sorry, I just looked over and it he's was kind really of funny. a dude. Yeah, it he's happens. Like, you, you look like a cat statue, Skip. Like, why are you guys talking about me all of a sudden? I know. <laughs> He's so confused. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Hey, I'm sorry you're feeling bad. Don't be sorry. Take <laughs> glass, take glass, Dad. <laughs> hefty, hefty, hefty. Stinky, stinky, stinky. Uh, what do we got? We've got a, this pot on a good simmer. It really brings, brings out the flavor. But you know what? Could be better. A little hotter. That can do it. But I just can't get any more heat from the lava. See, it's lava, Steph. What lava? La they just confirmed it's that it's Pepto. lava. It's not it's, Pepto Bismol. They confirmed on Twitter that it's Pepto. You know what they also just confirmed? What? That this is a fireball no, that's heating didn't. up the stew. No, they didn't. He a very warm lemon. He's had a problem of not being able to heat up the stew, and now we heat up the stew. It's with the sitting fire. over lava. If he, he can't heat up the stew while sitting <laughs> over lava, he it's couldn't really heat up not higher. our problem. He couldn't heat up higher. There's a bunch of angry tomatoes, man. Attack of the killer tomatoes. Wait, if I jump, hold up. I do this. Oh! Oh, they're steamy tomatoes. Oh, that. And everybody so knows random. that lemons go really well <laughs> in hot tomatoes. Do they? Yes. Don't, don't, don't play in her, don't play in her games. <laughs> don't listen to her! <laughs> you mistress of misinformation! <laughs> Yeah? Lemon, you, want, you want me to make lemon. some you want me to make some lemon tomato tonight they're, for dinner stuff? They're acidic fruits. They go together really well. What can I say? Hey. There we go. Mm, you zest that soup. It's uh, nice no, I'm heating it up now. with my body heat it's, stuff. It's now citrusy. It's not. It's hot. You see how it started steaming after my presence? Again, it's sitting on top of lava. Why why is there a problem? Because the lava isn't thing? hot enough, Steph! Listen to the fork, people! It's perfectly logical! If your lava Listen to the anthropomorphized fork people about their needs, if Stephanie! If your lava isn't even hot enough to heat soup, then why can't Mario swim in it? Find turnips, pop them in the soup. What now? Sorry, I was reading... Uh, you know, I was paying attention to what the game told me to do. That's just ridiculous. What now? Just, just carry your turnip. No, what do you want? This is making a problem? lot of logical Here. sense to me. Is that soup just yeah. happy about those turnips? Yes. It's also cold, Stephanie, and I should heat it up with. Oh, there's a little. Then it's a gazpacho. What's wrong with that? You know, maybe they're not making a gazpacho, Steph. <gasps> Speaking of cooking, since Stephanie is infuriating right now, <laughs> literally infuriating. You're, she's just being the biggest. Tr don't even touch my back, you <laughs> troll. I don't want trolls touching my back right now. Speaking. Speaking of. Stop it, you weirdo. That was more like a spider. Oh, I was like going a for a troll. Yeah, stop. So anyway, let me capture this lemon over here. Um, speaking of cooking stuff, though, Steph and I started watching the most charming show ever. Oh, we did start watching a really good show. Which has to do with baking. Or it's cooking. a great British bake-off. It's on Netflix. Yeah. I think we're now officially labeled as 50 for enjoying oh, it and watching oh, it. Oh, right? yeah. Like, we are definitely retirees now. Because it, it's a it's a British baking show. And it literally features like 80% grandmas who have been baking in Britain for but like... But they're charming grandmothers. And, and they're like, oh, and I put my 
homemade honey butter to go in my recipe this week. Or like, I, oh, as, a, as a retirement hobby, I raise bees and I brought my own honeycomb. It is true, that is exactly what the like, show has. What? Uh, I will say, in our defense, Chris is the one who turned us onto it in the first place. Yeah, it's been like, going around the office. He's like, Great British Bake Off is amazing. Uh, and we watched it. Oh. Oh, I see what's going on. Whoa, okay. all right. Hold up, I gotta get these guys. Um, but it's really cool because not only is it like these cute British people and a lot of like cute older British people, but it's also like really charming and sweet. A lot yeah. of American television, especially when it comes to like reality TV. reality TV, and they do like cooking shows. It's so overhyped and over dramatized and this and that. I completely agree. And it, it's so fake. Like, uh, all the drama is just so made up. Um, and there's no drama on this show. It's just, it's... they just get together on weekends and, like, bake stuff. And they're like, I don't know how to bake this, but that's okay. Right? And it's but all... that's all right, dearie. It's also all this stuff you've never heard of. Like, right? just these random... Red yeah, it's it? it's really obscure. So it's not like these people should know everything, or you know, they're not expected to be super experts. And and they like make it kind of fun because they give them like really vague recipes and stuff. And so they're sitting there being like, "Well, this recipe doesn't say how long to cook it. I don't know what I'm, I'm supposed I'm to do. I'm just going to guess. I'm in a bit of a tizzy. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Uh, no, but it's it's great and it. Because American television, a, a lot of stuff, is so over-dramatized and over-hyped, and you have all these, like, super dramatic sound effects, and it's like, oh no, he dropped his crepe, and then they zoom in on it, like, 15 times to emphasize how dire it is that he dropped his right, crepe. Right, and he's, like, sobbing in the corner and, or whatever. And, and, like, Gordon Ramsay's in his face being like, you stupid piece of garbage! You don't deserve to live! You dropped your effing crepe! And then, and then, like, cut to, like, a minute later, and he's like, yeah, I had a spare crepe. And then everyone's like, oh. Oh, all right. fine. But remember when he dropped his crepe? And then the announcer will be like, he dropped his crepe. His time in the kitchen will be over soon. It's like, right. no, he had five backup crepes. You yeah. Know, but they just want to grab also... attention. Whereas this show is literally like, yeah, we're all just supporting each other, and we're all here just to bake. And it's like, oh, no. Poor love, she dropped her crepe. Don't worry, five second rule. <laughs> right? Yeah. Like the show, in America, if something drops on the floor, you're like, you're going to poison me! Right? The jump! How dare you put this on your plate? The first, like, one of the first episodes we watched, like, they dropped, they dropped their, like, like muffin. A muffin. And it was like, oh dear, I dropped a muffin. And, and then they, they just, just like, picked it up. Pick it up. <laughs> Five second rule. <laughs> like, oh, all right. All right, cool. Sweet. All right. And so it's, like, really, like, refreshing and sweet and, and just pleasant to yeah. watch. Yeah. Scarlett Yang says, I love Great British Bake, uh, so bake Off and I'm 20, so what? Yes, thank you. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for relating to uh, us and super, making it not feel like we're right? like, retirees. Super Believix says, it is an amazing show. William Dawkins says, from England, and I love the Great British Bake Off. Yes, thank it's you guys. So good. I'm so glad that it's you guys so like good. it. That makes me really happy. <laughs> right? And makes me feel a lot more validated for liking it. Uh, Great British Baking Show, yay, baking, 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 says uh, Angela Ivy. <laughs> It's just um, so darn cute. Cat Kim says, so does that mean Chris is 50? Yes, he's a much older Paul brother. He yeah, he's, he's, he's Jake and Logan's much senior. He's the oldest uh, Paul, yes. Yeah, much senior brother. He may actually be their father. I'm not really sure. Whoa! Senior, no. <laughs> I've seen his father in those videos. Yeah. <laughs> the father is kind of creepy sometimes. <laughs> Uh, Ayansky Eats says, uh, I think the youngest this year was like 23 on the Great British Pickup. Oh. Okay, so yes, they do have some young contestants, but it, but they'll have like, like the, uh, the season we're watching now has one 17 year old, and she's awesome. She's great. Um, but then like, the old people will get eliminated, and she'll be like, but what am I going to do without, uh, like, without Rosemary? She was like my grandma on this show. Know, what am really I going to do without her? Really adorable. It's really Great. Yeah, if you haven't watched The Great British Bake Off, it's, it's really worth fun. It's worth it, it's, it's, it's very genuine, and I it makes me wonder, actually. So, you guys, you guys watch YouTube, right? And a lot of the reason people say YouTube is successful, and I, I don't know. Oh, I, Nathan I, I Ponder like, says, The Great British Bake, the great, uh, the British Bake Show is great, and I love it, I'm 12. Okay. Yes! Awesome. Thank you. Okay, awesome. 
Yeah, but a lot of people say that YouTube succeeds, and, I, and I'm in this camp, I believe this, because it's not, because it's not, like, overproduced. It's yeah. authentic, right? Like, you're hanging out with us on the couch right now. We are playing a video game, and we're talking about TV shows that we like, that we're currently watching. Yeah. We're playing Mario, which is really fun and cute. But, like, there's no multiple camera angles. There's no, like, fancy... Right. Like, every once in a while, we'll do... And the we'll TV do... show we like isn't, like, a paid placement or something like that. It's yeah. just, and hey, we like this TV show. And, and it's not like, oh, my gosh, we need to talk about... Stop we... destroying all that cheese. I was going to eat that. Oh, my God. Sorry, Steph. And it, yeah, and it's also like, you know, in TV, it's like, oh, you can't mention other shows because those shows are competitive or they won't give us the rights to talk about their shows. And we're like, whatever. Um, <laughs> who cares? Um, but, it, but it's one of those things. And so I think one of the nice things about... Ooh, good one. Oh, one man. of the nice things about this so show... I know, right? This is kind of weird. Also, the arc of these... It makes it really hard fans, to... Yeah. It's really odd. Like, it makes me feel Are you for just a making, brother. like, queso out of all of these? You are throwing a frying pan at it. Out of the fire, frying pan into the fire stuff. Oh! Um, but one of the reasons why I think, and I'd be curious Ooh. to see how the Great British Bake Off would, like, a similar style of show would work in America, because so much of what I like about it is exactly what I like about YouTube, which is it's not overproduced, the people are just really sweet and genuine, there's not a whole lot of, like, you know, announcers hyping up how bad things are, and you know, the, there's a competition element to it, but everyone's like it super casual nice. about yeah. it. It's like really supportive. I think it also helps that like most reality TV, if you notice, like it takes everybody out of their home and like makes them stay like alone with no social media, no phones, nothing for like 10 weeks which I think creates all this like artificial stress with people and then they get mean and then they get dramatic, right? But with this show, it's just like, these people have like day jobs. They like, they go home during the week and then they come in on weekends and they just like bake some stuff. And then they're like, all right, see you next week if yeah, I didn't get eliminated. Yeah, the, so, the, the show makes it clear that it's like it. every week, like, hey, we got together this weekend and we're doing the next round of the show. And it's, yeah. it's, it's cute that way, you know, and it, it feels like people are just getting together on the weekend to have a good time, cook, and yeah, if they win, great. And if they not, if they don't, you know, yeah. so be it. Yeah, so, you know. But anyway, if you haven't watched it, it's on Netflix. It's really good. It's good. It's, like, it's really Spending fun. Spending the dancing. If, I've seen lots of, like... If you're into that and stuff. We, we also have lots of teenagers who are watching who are like, I love the Great British Bake Off, yes, so... you guys are amazing. We're in good Thank company. I'm, glad, we're in I'm good. glad that we're all together on this. From <laughs> age 5 to 50, the Great British Bake Off. Ooh, there's stuff over there. Okay. Right? Good for all ages. Right? Speaking of cooking shows that uh, we started watching, I, I like that Luncheon Kingdoms prompted me to talk about I know, all this we're stuff. just talking about all this food And I like today. that this week, and I spent a lot of time watching cooking shows. So we watched Great British Bake Off. Uh, we're watching it right now, it's really good. True. Uh, while Stephanie was asleep, I watched Science versus Food. What? Or no, Chef versus Science. Come on, which man. Was like, it's just like one episode, it's an hour. It's about this chef who goes up against, or a, a scientist who goes up against like a Michelin star chef. You fall asleep for four hours, and just anything happens. Right? Anything can happen. <laughs> Who knows what Matthew's up to while you're asleep, Steph? Uh, a little, a little four-hour shut eye, and, and here's what I get. Jeez. I'm, I'm so, I'm so rebellious. While you're asleep, I. Oh, here we go. Uh, while you're asleep, I'm watching no. scientific cooking shows. By the way, I wish I could take a four-hour nap. That'd be amazing. But, but anyway, so you watch, so you watched another one. Yeah, I watched this. this Chef thing. versus science, yeah. or whatever. Yeah, Chef versus science, or science versus chef. I would love to do. Like, it was good. Where they have a scientist who's trying to like use scientific Ooh, concepts that's cool. to he's trying to use scientific concepts to make a better food item or a better dish than the like Michelin star like top quality chef. And uh, he doesn't do all that hot. Mm. But I think it's a cool concept that I feel like we could really do. Ooh. Honestly. Wait, I, you wanna do it? You wanna start a cooking show? I, I think it would, oh, I think there's a lot of cool stuff that you could do with the science of cooking. We could have Rosanna like, back as a guest. Right? We could theorize about we could theorize about food stuff. Ooh, that'd be fun. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. There it is. Right, there it is. Science, um, the science but I, I you could theorize the about food. Of, right? The science of food is really fascinating actually, and there's so much 
Like, there's so much out there about food, and e like, everyone eats food, right? And everyone wants to know sort of something about what they're eating. Some people just want to know what tastes the best, but some people like want to know what's actually healthy for you or what kinds of food will help you do X, Y, or Z right. or whatever. But there's so much misinformation out there that there's right. actually a ton of food science that you could talk about. Well, that's what I was going to say is you can, like, there's so many food myths. Mm -hmm. You could do, like, you could, food Oh, you could just, like, yeah, you like debunk myth all of Mythbusters food. of food. Yeah, just debunk all the food myths. Here, doesn't really look like it. Okay, there we go. Also, by the way, we flew through this kingdom, too. Cassidy Raymond in the chat says, as a food science major in college, I appreciate this talk. Right? Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. Miracle Holmes says, cooking with cat. Cooking with cat. Yes! Nice. Crossing the, to the magma. Okay, so now... Wait, we would need a good name for it. Yeah. I mean, you could do food theory. But that would be, that would be like science versus chef. Science versus chef is actually a really good name. Uh, hold up, let me focus on this. All right, good, do it. This is, this is pre oh no, Steph. See what this is going on? This is precision lemoning right now. I know. What I you know. see happening right now? Precision lemon. That that lemon is skating on that lemonade. Persimmons. Or, or Pepto Bismol. Either one. Or lava stuff. It could also be lava. Right? Because the game told us it's lava. You know, just just saying. No! Shoot. My bad. I missed it. You did? He he oh, doesn't man. he doesn't have a lot of, the momentum of the fireballs is actually kind of awkward. Yeah. Like, you actually have to rev up into j jumps that need a little bit of distance. Oh. Ooh. Oh, 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 no! 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 Okay. Oh. I got, I got too creamy. I, I was, I was too much a in a hurry. A lemon falling from the sky. One might say that that jump was a lemon. Oh! Uh -huh. Precision lemoning. Here we go. Precision lemoning. Here we go. There you go. Uh -oh. Okay, here it is. Do no. it. Ooh. It's also weird because you're sitting in the lava, but it like moves you. Right? It like it's it kind of has like a current. Okay, I'm gonna oh go. man, you're a lemon on a mission. I'm gonna go shortcut. Yes! Whoa! Oh, dude. Ooh. All right. All right. Okay, so now, and this is okay. just weird from like a jump perspective. Cause... Oh! No! I was in the lava! What? Come on! Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh man, I like this. Mr. Seal says the food show could be called Fat Pat's Food Theory. Fat Pat's Food Theory. <laughs> yep. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Appreciate that. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, Brianna Mann says I'm feeling really awful today, but I'm wearing my Game Theory shirt and watching GT Live, Everyone's so sick all will today. be okay. Sick. Aww, that's What's going on? I What's going know. around? It's we'll be better with a clap and a half. Yeah, I, I say we'd give out a clap and a half. How about that? Oh boy, oh boy, we got some precision. Oh, come on! Oh my gosh, you just dove okay, right off. Okay, hold up. That lemon didn't even stand a chance. Here, clap and half real quick. <laughs> I'm getting upset. I shouldn't die multiple times to anything in this game at this point. Right. I have, I have yet, I have yet to be put into a position in this game where I'm like, oh yeah, this warrants me dying multiple times. Here, okay. The fact that I didn't do this the first time, I'm a bit frustrated about. Now I'm getting like trying to speed through it, which is not what yeah, I should be doing. Yeah, you just gotta take your time. Right, I keep, nice. I keep speeding through it. You got some nice lemonade. Oh. Got some good lemon time. Nope. How did I, these jumps, I don't like these jumps. Sorry. This, this is me apologizing to you, but you got it. You got this. apologizing to myself. You got this. Even though I've gotten like a hundred moons on this live stream already, I'm upset by the fact that we've suddenly slowed down. Be kind, be kind to your lemony self. Cut some, Matt. Cut yeah, some. cut some. Who cut the cheese? I was talking about slack. Cut yourself some slack. Cut, cut some, some cheese as well. That's what we. That's what we. Uh, our our shorthand for that. Instead of saying cut yourself some slack, we just say cut some. So just go up to someone today who's working too hard, or just you know having a rough time, and just be like, hey, cut some. Uh, let's see. At Dijon Gray on Twitter, despite you might have died a couple of times, but ooh, ballsy. All right. Uh, it says loving the Luncheon Kingdom. Glad to make a stream. I rarely get to. Oh, that's awesome. Over here. I already did. I already did find the other moves. So right. I guess we'll 
I just want to get these points to replenish all the things I lost. There we go. As Dead Devil oh, 5 says, I still say it's either pink icing or strawberry milk. Ooh. Ooh, strawberry. Do you remember? Do they still have that? Remember they used to have chocolate syrup, right? But then they had came out with strawberry syrup where you could put it in the milk and it comes becomes strawberry or like whatever they You put it in the milk the and it strawberry becomes strawberry flavor to be. It becomes raspberry. It's very odd. It becomes it's very odd branding. <laughs> it's, it's more of like a a pink colored vanilla. Uh, I have never actually had strawberry milk. I don't think I I've, I've had it since I was like 6, but I remember like Nestle and uh, like Hershey's syrup and stuff used to come in a strawberry variety, so you could turn your milk into strawberry milk. Oh, it's one of those. Ooh, a golden turnip. Shoot. Looks kind of like a beak. It's very, it's actually the roundness of this is very satisfying. Right? Like, it's very aesthetically pleasing. I know. Just want to take a big bite. Uh, let's see. The, the, the home base, I think, is over here. Right? Oh, yeah, it's on the other side of this cheese. <laughs> oh, yeah! Yeah, that thing, that, the, the city is on the other side of that cheese. Right? Okay, here we go. Here. Break down this cheese a little bit. Bum. Okay, so. Get over here, grab this. Mm. I've got to complete my stew, Stephanie. My <sighs> stew that is too cold. Huh. At Emberfire34 says, I've been trying to cook up a kitchen joke, but I can't think of anything. Oh, oh you did it. Uh, at SealFans328 says, I would watch Food Theory. Um, There's also other stuff you could do with Food Theory. Like, you could do science of cooking, but you could also do stuff like... Uh, you could do like food hacks or like optimizations. Yeah, and actually, I was I was just saying, or I was just thinking, because uh, at one who turns on Twitter says, debunk food myths. Didn't you watch Good Eats? That was the Alton Brown MythBusters for food. But he covered very, really specific stuff. I feel like he could go wider than that, actually. Well, he, co he and covered. And not on anymore. Well, he covered specific stuff. He, all, he I mean, he also does Cutthroat Kitchen. Then, but yeah, like, Cutthroat Kitchen is great, by the way. We're big Alton Brown fans. I love Alton Brown. Yeah. Um, you collab with us! Oh my gosh! That'll be, that'd be that'd pretty crazy. crazy. Come on, come on! Can you use that fork to get over? Uh, hold on. I got an idea. God, what? Stop it, Mario. Calm down. I don't want to, I don't want to have to hop through all this lava again. Ugh. I don't care about you, Moon. Um, oh, I know what I could potentially do. Hmm. Um, no, Alton Brown could collab with us. Also, <laughs> Good Eats was about food, like, we would do food science. It would be food science, I guess, but it would be there. Is it? Oh, it would be food science, you. I guess, but you could do it in a more theoretical way. I feel like there's stuff you could do. You could also do optimization of food, like I was gonna say, like how to optimize your your fast food order. Ooh, Ooh like how to actually get the most food for your <coughs> for your money at like, yeah, like at a the, restaurant. Where, like, so, like, what's better, the Wendy's dollar menu or the McDonald's dollar menu? Or I've, that can I've be fun. or I've had the suspicion for a really long time that. Uh, that the larger the, the fry you get at a fast food restaurant, the actual, the less cost effective it is. Really? Yeah, that that if you get like a large fry or whatever, you're not actually getting any more fries. Really? Or something like, because there's more empty space and they don't do a good job of packing the fries. Ooh. And so on average. You'd have to do a bunch of tests. You'd have to do a bunch of tests, yeah. Mm, guys, you'd have to eat a lot of fries. <laughs> I don't hear any complaints, I think Twitch. we're good. Oh, yeah, yep, there you go. Look, it's Mario the Meat Man. Mario Wait, has transformed what? into a hunk of meat. Are you, are you literally just like a pot roast right now? Yep. Looks like pork butt. Oh. Pork butt, Mario butt, whole lot of Mario butt. Oh, it is, it's totally a Mario butt. Oh. so weird. Ew, I keep expecting oh. to see him like dripping. Of all the things that Mario can turn into in this game. Yeah, Ugh. you know what guys? Let's turn Mario into a giant slab of meat. That makes perfect sense. What is he a side idea. of bacon maybe? But, Whoa. he's a butt. Mario is a butt, confirmed. That it's not even a food theory. So it's not a food theory. The corn is pretty sad. The corn looks pretty great. It's not a food theory, it's not a game theory, it's just a Nope. Oh, oh come on. Yes. There it is. There it is. Just oh, a man. Food fact. There we go. Wait, you didn't have to defeat the bird? I thought the bird was threatening the soup. Apparently, tempting him with some meat satiated. What? Or I don't know. Stephanie! I don't I'm know. So confused. Big pot on the volcano diving! Did it. Hey, yo! Meaty. Oh, wait, here it is. 
There's the boss battle, yeah. This looks like it's gearing up for a boss battle. So he's just... It's too strong! He's just being a His flapper. Way. Pidgey used Gust! It was super effective! Oh man! It's gonna Wing blow. attack! Wing attack, Pidgey! Uh oh. Oh, Mario. Mario! Mario, no! Oh, mamma mia! Oh, climb up the cascading magma step. There you go. What? So we haven't we haven't quite beaten him yet. Ah. But we already got the moon. Blasted all the way back here. That is one angry volcano. And the volcano is still erupting. Oh, jeez. All right, so... Well, at least the soup's hot, right? Right. Can I teleport over to... No, I guess it's just faster to run over there. All right. Anyway. Can you just leave? Do you have enough moons? I could right? leave. We could just go. But then, but then we let the bad guys win. But then the terrorists win. <laughs> yes, Stephanie. The terrorist, And by that, I mean... The giant but bird it's creature. just a giant bird, actually. Here, there's a, it's really just plus a giant this whole bird. this whole thing opened up, so I'm curious. So what's this? All right. Ooh. Don't worry, we'll be done with this kingdom. We're already pretty much done with it. Hold on. You're good. Oh wait, You're there's good. more stuff. Oh over here. no way! This is really. Oh, Hello. Hey, hey, oh, jeez, hey, hey, man. Hey, hey. Come on. Come on, fire guy. Okay. Yes. There we go. Boom. Nice. Well done. Go. What's this? Oh, Volcano cave entrance. So this is on the other side of the town. So this is all brand new. Cave over there is our only way to peek. So I could, I bet I could make that jump, but let's go in here. Be a, a bonus moon! Whoa! Get out of here. There you Get go. Out Got of him. Here. Got him. See, look, look at those fireballs. Remind yeah, you of anything? Uh, oh. No, they're they're clearly fireballs. Right? They remind you of lemons, don't they? No, they don't. I don't know about you, the but the lemons they out me of here lemons. look completely different than those fireballs. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so we'll see we got. Oh, ah, uh, poop! Aww. I got greedy. Again. Shoot! No! Mario! Oh Mario, my stop. gosh! Are you kidding? Stop it, Mario! Jeez. Wow, he's so singed. Right? Ah, there we go. Uh, can I still put these? No. Uh, no. Okay. I'll, this is what I get for trying to do it the fast way. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Look at that. Look at that skill. Into the cave. All right. Ooh, hello. Hello. Oh man. There There's a lemon. Yeah. This stream is a big lemon. Uh, uh. Okay, hold up. I don't know. We are making some serious progress. Right, here. we really are. We also got like almost all the purples in this level too. We also yeah. were a cute octopus for quite a while, and that was pretty awesome. Okay, there seems to be something on this side over here. Ooh, yeah, there is. Yeah, hey hidden moon, of course. There's always a hidden moon. Yeah. When I'll in doubt. behind the pillars of magma. Right. That was very descriptive. Right. They couldn't think of creative names for all of them. Right. Some I, are I just love like... how some of them are just like, this is where it is. <laughs> <laughs> but which pillars of magma, Stephanie? That is the question here. This one These are really the up. only ones we've come across so far. There was others. There were others, Stephanie. Yeah. There were so many others. Uh-huh. There was, uh, I can think of another four. There were four. Wow, really? Yeah. Oh man, I missed it. It's alright. You've been so I must diligent. Have been in the Twitter. You've been so diligent on the Twitter stuff. I don't blame you. Man, we are crushing this level. Right? I know. I'm sorry. I'm just really I'm impressed with how fast we've moved through both the bubble kingdom and this one. Oh, it's sorry. It's not a Pidgey, it's a Cookatiel. Ah, got it. Cookatiel. See? I like that. I like that. Cute name. <laughs> So presumably these things have to get lit. Yep. By get lit, man. By this guy. Can you? Here. Lure him over here. So. Hey yo. Can you me? Come on. Come on. Too far Come away. On, Can I possess him? Right. That's what I was gonna say. Can you? No? Give me my hat. No! Oh. Well, this. If I grab this, then I... Can 
now he's got his mouth full. There we go. Oh, oh, now I get it. Now you are the rock? Oh. <laughs> close, close. Be the rock, Stephanie. The whole thing is just weird. All right. Yeah! Yay! Nice. Oh, bad. good job. Okay. There's that. That was a complicated one. Yeah, that was pretty good. Light the far off lanterns. Got it. All right. Ooh, there's there's a chest. Ah, uh, show me. Oh, dude. Give up. There. I love oh, how this game come is on. So challenging. What? I said I love how this game is so challenging. Stephanie, it's it's only for the hardest of hardcore part of that. There we go. All right. Go. 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 Love all these little piles of salt, man. Go. Oh boy! I okay. What's out there? I see. Oh, that's Captain Toad out there. So we'll have to get to Captain Toad. Okay. So we gotta find the fireball. All right. There. Good. Start of the peak climb. Ooh! Like this. There's flipping climb. Okay. Oh, so no. now. All right. Flick it. Ooh, great. Right. Like this. No. I flick up there. What else we got? Oh, there's more. Oh yeah, there. I gotta get those over there. Bada bing, bada boom. So I'm assuming you'll get a no. fireball later. Woo! Yes. This is cake. Oh, not bad. Oh, these are the flip. Okay. Oh, oh, don't land on that. Thank side. you. Avoid that side. Oh, that's what I should. That's oh, you're so right. Hot Pepto Bismol. Oh, the hot Pepto. Cold Pepto Bismol is okay. The hot Pepto. I guarantee there's gonna be a, a moon on top of that thing. On top of that, like awkward to reach room. Oh, totally. Guaranteed. Uh, one's there. One's All right. There. Am I missing out on anything? Ooh, hey, oh, hey, Whoa. oh, oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. no! Wait, get out of here. Mar Mario, no! Wait, oh, I possessed oh, okay. it. Ooh, hey, Mario. Oh, jeez, Mario. That was exciting. Mario, man. Oh, okay, yeah. So, uh, 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 no! Oh, oh, momentum! Oh. oh, wait. No. Look. Aha! Oh, you, thought, you thought you had beaten me, but little did you suspect. Oh, yeah. Now, cannon on up there. Yes. All right, well, good. first I gotta get Cap Toad. All right, fine. Look at this. How did I get up here? Woo, it's so hot, I can't remember. But wow, sizzle time, right? I didn't find this power moon. Yeah, of course you did. Right? Would again, it be? Would again. it be a surprise if he's like, I found a star? They are valueless. They're being given away by everyone. Right? If if they actually had value, people would keep them for themselves. Right? Oh, and you're just gonna leave him there to fend for himself? Right? Wow. He's like, no, nah, you're wow. good. You're good, buddy. You got you got it under control. Where's it? Top of the mountain. Oh yeah, right where I left off. Oh, perfect. What? Ooh, be hey there. Some purples up there. Woo! Oh, sweet. All right, so there. Flick this up. Noing. Look at this piece of cake. Oh yeah, we got this. And so we're at the top now. Yes. Here. Oh my gosh. Three All right, here it is. Do. Pidgey! Bloink. I like what? how it's more of a chowder. What is this creature? It's very disturbing. Oh, this is that's my home. Ooh! So I'm going to smack him in the butt? I'm a, I am a living fireball. Give his buns a little smack, yeah. Get over here. Get over here. Oh. No. Nope. That's it. Your you're fire, no, your fire oh. just missed his buns. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Whoa, this is... What is going what? on here? What is this? Oh man! Oh, his butt! His butt is not heat sensitive, but his mouth his and face head certainly is. is. So okay. I like how you're helping to just mash this stew up too. You're just helping. You're really pureeing nicely. Really, not just a boss battle, but also just you know, also a, a cuisinart. Yeah, a culinary explosion. I'm helping to. Okay. I'm confused let me, about, let me is ride he vomiting? His... Is yes. he vomiting Pepto-Bismol right now? He's vomiting, yes. Let me ride his vomit. Wow, that's really unsettling. This is a really weird I, boss battle. I wouldn't really recommend that this population eat this soup after this. It's it's like the Great British Bake Off, Steph. It's okay. Yeah. Five second rule? Five second rule. 
my Pepto Bismol lava roll. My vomit roll. Oh. It's all right. Like it's that's all okay. Really not sure that that's good for this. Should I do it? Some of them are spikes, which I should be avoiding. Should I do yeah. some new peppers or something like they give me? I don't really need any extra life. No, just, just stick it out here, right now. Oh. Oh, he's changed up. Whoa. This is so weird. Oh, man, you need to jump now. Crazy. Oh, jeez. Come on. Oh, okay, apparently there, that is actually there, difficult. All right. There. Fine. Okay, okay. Wait. If you can't handle puke, it. Puke. Jeez. Puke. Keep puking. No! Keep puking. Come on. Gain momentum. There we go. Holy oh, jeez. There he is. Nice. High five. Nailed it. Oh, no, it's gonna fall in the stew! Oh. No! Oh, it was geez, vegetarian and gluten-free! Nah, you were a side of beef, man. I was a side of beef, you're right. <laughs> well, now you've mixed your protein and stuff. Not you, kosher anymore. No, you yeah. mixed your chicken and your beef and your pork butt and your Mario the, the butt. Pork, the pork would have been out anyway. Your lemons, there's lemons in there now. God, what a mess. <laughs> we have just made a mess of everything in the Luncheon Jeez. Kingdom. Right, this soup is so worried sorry. forever. It is. It is ruined. We just ruined everything, yeah. guys. It's rough. All right. Well, that was tragic. Well, I think that's pretty much. That's the pretty much like right? Mario. That's just come in, destroy everything. What do we do? Thirty-one of fifty-six. All right. That's so pretty that's darn not good. Too bad for our first run through. Yeah, I think that's pretty nice. We missed that section over, it's over there. Half. I'm yeah, I'm pretty good at this. Right. Like. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Yeah, I think we're good. Awesome. All right, then let's go get after Bowser. Oh man. There we go. So let's finish off here. Let's see what we got. Show me. We got Ooh. a lot in this level. Yeah, we did. Whoa. That's pretty awesome. Ah. Huh? Should be two sixty four. Should be two sixty eight. Two sixty eight. Hey yo. Woo. Awesome. Man, what did we start with? Two oh five today. Yeah. So we got sixty. 63, Man, 63 moons in like, what was it, two hours? Yeah. Wow. Not bad. Pretty awesome. Not bad at all, my friends. Not bad at all. Aw, oh, man. Okay, now we can head to Bowser's Kingdom. Okay. Wait, oh, wait, that can't be good. Okay. Okay. Bowser's Kingdom. All right, so we'll leave it there. I think all that's right. good. All right. That seems like a good place. So I next think so. time. And then next time we can polish we'll it. We'll beat it. All right. right? Yeah. Bowser's Kingdom. Oh my gosh. There you go. We no sweat. How are you no feeling? Sweat. Are you nervous? Nervous bow, bow. about it? No. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of GT Live. If you want to continue the Luncheon Kingdom theme, well then click the box to the left to see our cooking challenge with our friend from YouTube, Rosanna Pancino. And don't forget to subscribe for more. It is, the, the Rosanna Pancino one is really embarrassing, by the way. So it is. Click it. It's embarrassing for all of us, everyone involved. <laughs>